Good morning, everybody. I'm here to discuss humanity scholars and ethical compliance in the digital world and the role that the academic librarians in Nigeria have to do with that. Going through literature, there's no precise definition of who a humanity scholar is. But um, it is from literature, I gathered that a humanity scholar is somebody that is interested by virtue of his special knowledge, okay, to an experience to work on things related to humanities discourse. And the responsibilities of the humanities scholar involves teaching, research, invo also involves in committee service such as creating different projects to be able to make an impact in the society. Um, this slide is just going to discuss um, the role of the humanities scholar. Like I said before, they are expected to be able to perform different uh, projects to be able to have an impact in the society, help to create awareness of things that are related to scholarly works, things that are related to humanities, so that it can make public presentation, make people more aware of the discourse about humanity in general. They are also expected that they should write critical um, discourses, projects, in terms of informing the society about issues related to humanities. Uh, this slide is about the humanity, humanity scholar in the digital age. The humanity scholar in the digital age is expected to be able to use information resources, electronic information resources, in various capacity, search for information through different means, use um, digitized materials, videos, maps, be able to use creative electronic devices to be able to bring out what you are working on in terms of researches or in terms of um, your project. And this may involve downloading different open educational resources, use of videos, use of pictures, images for you to be able to carry out your different function as an humanity scholar. The use of these different electronic resources, these different electronic information materials has to do with, comes around with some ethical regulations. And so the humanity scholar is expected to be able to follow the rules guiding the use of these electronic information resources. So the ethical compliance is the appropriateness by the humanity scholar in the use of ICT based on stated rules. And a humanity scholar could use um, this information resources either ethically wise or in the affirmative. And um, this slide is just trying to portray the different, the bad ethical use in the digital world. Like, and, the, and it's going to look at plagiarism, copyright violation, illegal use of software, violation of privacy, digital pi piracy. And so it's important that the humanity scholar should be abreast of cyber ethics knowledge. And that means that you are knowledgeable in the use, and the appropriate use of these resources while you're carrying out your functions as a humanity scholar. Now, this research is an ongoing one, and um, so many studies have been carried out about different users, but not much has been done about humanity scholars, especially in Nigeria. So that is what guided my thoughts to be able to carry out this study, and I, like I said before, it's an ongoing one. And for a humanity scholar to acquire the necessary ethical knowledge, the librarian has a duty to play. And the librarian is expected to educate this humanity scholar by through information literacy programs, through user awareness, and creating awareness 
on the policy that is instituted in the university or the organization. So the academic librarian is expected on a regular basis to make information relating to ethical use of these information materials available to the digital scholars so that they know the way in which they will not violate any of these ethical rules while using electronic information resources. My conclusion. Humanities scholars need to use electronic information resources and they must, they are expected to use them ethically. And if they are not aware of the ethics of using these electronic information resources, then they may be using them unethically. So the, the academic librarians have a role to educate them in the proper way in which they are expected to use these electronic information resources and this will make them to be aware and they will not violate the ethics of using these information resources. Thank you very much.